हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट फ्रस्टम दिस इज फॉर क्लास टेन सरफेस एरियाज एंड वॉल्यूम्स चैप्टर सो क्वेश्चन इज डिराइव द फॉर्मूला फॉर द कर्व सरफेस एरिया टोटल सरफेस एरिया एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ द फ्रस्टम ऑफ अ कोन सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू ड्रॉ दीज थिंग्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव टेकन दिस ओ ए बी कोन सो इफ आई कट दिस कोन with a plane parallel to base it is base so if i cut this cone with a plane parallel to its base i'll get here frustum so see if i'm cutting uh, this cone from uh, here with a plane which is parallel to base so this is cut now i have got here uh, suppose this is c this is d and this is q so i have got, uh, i have gone after cutting this one cone that is odc and one frustum i have got that is a b c d this upper one shape is called frustum and down one is a cone that if we remove this cone down one uh, cone that is odc then we get frustum here so we need to find the csa uh, that is curved surface area total surface area and volume of this frustum that is a b c d frustum so i want to show you the um, exact picture of the frustum so this is a tumbler this is the shape of the frustum only so see uh, this is frustum we have two radii here first radius is this upper one uh, base and second radius is this and this is its slant height from here to here this is slant height and this is height that is h of the frustum so this is like a frustum only so let's see how to uh, do this now we will make uh, these two triangles triangle opb and triangle oqc as similar so see again i tell you i have to uh, make these two triangles opb and triangle oqc as similar so let's see how to do similar so in these two triangles this angle is common angle pob is common in both the triangles and in triangle opb this p angle is 90 degree because this is right circular cone and in uh, triangle oqc this q angle is uh, 90 degree so by aa criteria of similarity these two triangles will be similar so we'll write this now uh, for the cone oab let the radius is r1 and uh, height be h1 and uh, slant height be l1 this is slant height this is l1 and for small cone this is odc cone suppose this is a uh, height that is h2 oq is height that is h2 and slant height let it is l2 and uh, high, uh, radius it is r2 this is r2 radius and for frustum so uh, for frustum this is slant height that let uh, it is l l only and uh, this is height that is h only okay so i again repeat for bigger cone oab we will assume uh, radius uh, radius r1 height h1 and uh, slant height l1 and for this small cone odc we assume radius r2 height h2 and slant height l2 and for frustum we assume height h slant height l and radii r2 here r1 and r2 so what we do here i have written here let a cone oab oab which is uh, cut up with a plane parallel to its base such that we get a cone odc and a frustum abcd this is a frustum abcd let for cone oab height is h1 for bigger cone it is height h1 slant height l1 and radius r1 and for smaller cone that is odc this smaller cone height is h2 slant height is l2 and radius is r2 and for frustum this is a frustum here and the slant height is l here and height is h so i have to prove first of all these two triangles congruent uh, sorry similar triangle opb and triangle oqc i have written here poc angle is equal to poc this is common angle in both the triangles angle opb this is opb this angle and angle oqc both are 90 degree each because this is these both are right circular cone so 90 degree each so by aa these two triangles are 
similar so we know if triangles are similar then we, uh, we know uh, the corresponding parts of similar triangles or corresponding sides of similar triangles are in the same ratio so we will obtain from here that l1 over l2 is equal to r1 over r2 or you can say is equal to h1 over h2 this is by cpst corresponding parts of similar triangles so for drawing curved surface area we need just r and l because um, the curved surface area of cylinder sorry cone is pi r l so r and l we need so right here l1 over l2 is equal to r1 over r2 so from here we will uh, find out l1 so l1 becomes l2 will go in this side it becomes r1 over r2 into l2 write it as equation number 1 so again you take this l1 over l2 is equal to r1 over r2 now we write l1 in terms of l and l2 see what is l1 this is l1 we can write l1 as l plus l2 because this is l this is l2 so l1 can be written as l plus l2 so i am writing here l1 as l plus l2 over l2 is equal to r1 plus over r2 so from here i can find out see here divide um, l and l2 by l2 see here i get l over l2 plus l2 over l2 is equal to r1 over r2 so uh, this is cancelled so i get here l over l2 plus 1 is equal to r1 over r2 so take this one to this side it becomes minus 1 here so l over l2 is equal to r1 over r2 minus 1 so take lcm in left hand side right hand side so l over l2 is equal to r2 is lcm it becomes r1 minus here r2 so uh, now take this l2 in uh, right hand side so it becomes l is equal to r1 minus r2 over r2 into l2 say this as equation number 2 so now what we do see we have to find out curved surface area of the frustum so here you can see that curved surface area of frustum is this curved surface area of frustum is curved surface area of oab cone minus curved surface area of odc cone if i subtract curved surface area of odc cone from curved surface area of ob oab cone then we get the csa of the cone so i can write here curved surface area of frustum is equal to curved surface area of cone oab minus curved surface area of cone smaller than odc odc so we know csa of uh, oab cone oab cone we know the formula of csa of cone is pi r l so for bigger cone it is pi r1 l1 minus csa of smaller cone that is pi r2 l2 pi r2 l2 so now using one i i have uh, i will write in place of l1 as r1 over r2 into l2 here in place of l1 i am writing here r1 over r2 into l2 and minus pi r2 l2 here you can write using one using one number equation so uh, now what you do from these two you can write here that is equal to pi r1 square l2 over r2 minus pi r2 l2 so now in these two terms we have common here pi pi l2 is common here so what is left here r1 square over r2 minus uh, r2 this is left now pi l2 take lcm here r2 is lcm it becomes r1 square minus r2 square so r2 is lcm so it becomes r1 square minus here r2 square 
एंड वी नो द फॉर्मूला ए स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर इट इज ए माइनस बी इंटू ए प्लस बी सो आई गेट हेयर ए प्लस बी दैट इज आर वन प्लस आर टू इंटू आर वन माइनस आर टू ओवर आर टू हेयर सो नाउ आई राइट हेयर पाई दिस टर्म यू राइट इन द बिगनिंग आर वन प्लस आर टू इंटू आर वन माइनस आर टू ओवर आर टू दिस एल टू यू राइट हेयर सो इफ आई सी दिस सी दिस दिस इज दिस इज यू कैन से एल compare this and this from 2 we can use in this place as l here see here this is l only so right here using 2 so i get pi r1 plus r2 in this place i write here l which is which is csa of cone sorry csa of frustum so we have derived the formula for the csa of frustum so uh, this is this we have got csa of frustum pi r1 plus r2 into l so for getting total uh, curved surface sorry total surface area of the frustum total surface area will be area uh, this curved surface area plus area of this circle upper one circle and area of down one circle so total surface area of frustum is curved surface area plus area of upper one circle that is pi r1 sorry pi r square pi r1 square and then area of this circle that is pi r2 square this is the total surface area of the frustum so let's find out the volume of the frustum now so for uh, for doing uh, the volume of the frustum of a cone we will have to make these two triangles uh, similar that we have done only so we have got from there h1 over h2 is equal to r1 over r2 uh, that is from uh, cpst corresponding parts of similar triangles so now we will find the value of h1 from here so h1 is equal to h2 will go in this side r1 over r2 into h2 this is equation number now 3 now what we do again we take this h1 over h2 is equal to r1 over r2 now i'll write h1 as c this is h1 full this height is h1 i can write h1 as h plus h2 this is h1 so it can be written as h plus h2 so h1 is h plus h2 over h2 is equal to r1 over r2 so from here i get divide this uh, uh, all these uh, these both terms by h2 so it becomes h over h2 plus h2 over h2 is equal to r1 over r2 so h2 h2 cancel so it becomes h over h2 plus 1 is equal to r1 over r2 from here i can get here h over h2 and take this one to other side r1 minus sorry R one over R two minus one minus one. So you can take LCM here. H over H two is equal to R two is LCM. It becomes R one minus R two here. So uh, find out the value of H now. H is equal to H two will go in this side. It becomes R one minus R two over R two into H two. This is our second number equation. So for finding the volume of this frustum. there will be the volume of the frustum will be volume of the bigger cone that is oab minus volume of the smaller cone again i repeat a volume of the frustum will be volume of bigger cone minus volume of smaller cone this so i write here volume of frustum frustum name is a b c d is equal to volume of cone oab minus volume of cone smaller one that is odc so i tell you what is volume of cone that is 1 by 3 pi r square h so it becomes 1 by 3 volume of bigger cone is 1 by 3 pi 
R1 square H1 minus volume of small cone is 1 by 3 pi R2 square H2. So from here what I do I'll write the value of H1 as this here. I write in place of H1 R1 over R2 into H2. So I write here 1 by 3 pi R1 square in place of H1 I write here R1 over R2 into H2 minus 1 by 3 pi R2 square H2 and here you write using 2 sorry using one, uh, 3 sorry it is 3 and this equation you name as equation 4 okay now what you do just multiply all these we get 1 by 3 pi r1 cube here here r1 square into r1 is r1 cube as 2 over r2 minus 1 by 3 pi r2 square as 2 now from these two we have uh, we will take common 1 by 3 pi as 2 is common what is left here uh, r1 cube over r2 minus 1 by 3 pi as to common to so r2 square is common so here I, I i'll take here lcm inside lcm is r2 now it becomes here r1 cube minus r2 cube now we can use here formula a cube minus b cube so i write here using a cube minus b cube as a minus b into a square plus b square plus a b. So I write here in the upper side. So I will use this formula a cube minus b cube as a minus b into a square plus b square plus a b. So I write here it becomes 1 by 3 pi as 2 and here r1 minus r2 into a square that is r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 and denominator is r2 here so it becomes here 1 by 3 pi you bring this in the beginning that is r1 square plus r2 square just rearrange this r1 r2 and then r1 minus r2 then h2 over r2 okay if we see this portion this portion if we see this is same as here equation number four see here this is r1 minus r2 into h2 over r2 this is h we can replace this full portion as h so we write here using four equation so we get volume of frustum of the cone is 1 by 3 pi this r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 into in this place i write here h so which is the required formula for the volume of the frustum of a cone thanks for watching